Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Benchmade knife from Wish. Let's take a look. Okay guys, I ordered myself a Benchmade 535, and I'll say it again, Benchmade 535 from Wish. Um, you know, this is not going to be an authentic Benchmade, but uh, we're going to check it out and see if it's a decent knife. Um, yeah, this will be a clone, right? So this came from China. Benchmade 535s are not made in China. They're made in Oregon. So uh, this actually took a really long time to get here, uh, probably upwards of two months, month and a half at least. So uh, I almost forgot that I ordered this, but it was $20.00. And the shipping was $11, so got $31 invested. And we're going to take a look and see if this was worth my $35, or sorry, $31 investment. So I'm going to be using another clone. This is a uh, Sabenza clone. And uh, we're going to be using that to open this up. Now, right away, red flag number two is that the colors on this packaging are way off. Uh, this is a more dull blue. Uh, you know, the, the, the blue on the, on the actual Benchmade boxes are, are much brighter. Um, yeah, the colors are all wrong here. Now, um, they did actually put the little sticker on there. So, um, you know... That looks somewhat okay. I'd have to go back and look at an actual Benchmade box to see, but I'm sure that's not that's not different. I'm, I don't even think that barcode, if you scanned it, would be right. But uh, maybe I don't know. And uh, yeah, that's the, that's the packaging. Let's uh, let's take a look at the knife. Now you do get a little Benchmade bag. This is also wrong. It's it's kind of like a a stretchy material um the, the this is definitely different than the material that a authentic bench made would be made out of it's it's not this stretchy ribbed material it's just a nylon bag um they also don't normally put them in these cheap crappy plastic bags um and normally they come with this little thing under the pocket clip so that's a minor thing, but at least they provided that. Um, and then this <laughs> this is is odd. This paperwork that doesn't really fit the the box. That's different. And then this is definitely different. This is a dead giveaway. This this really flimsy, um, thin where you can almost see through it kind of foam that they put in there. Um, that is not right either but we're not looking at packaging we're looking at the dang knife we knew it was not authentic so here is the knife and it's very very lightweight i mean it, it feels like a 535 in terms of weight and man it it, it looks the part too i do like these uh gold backspacers and the thumb studs on there that looks pretty sharp and you do have, you know, the the axis lock on there, or at least it looks like that. Um, you know, it it looks it looks the part. You know, I mean, you'd have to be you'd probably have to hold one an authentic one up to this one, and uh, and really look at the subtle differences. And I actually don't have an authentic 535 in my possession right now, but. Um, you know, this one definitely looks the part. Oh, nice action on it, too. Let's see if it'll flip closed. Oh, yeah. So, man, right out of the gate, this thing has really nice action to it. Can't complain about that. Man, super nice. So, um, <laughs> man, so far, even though I know it's not an authentic bench made, and I don't know if they actually use S30V, uh, for this price, I'm I'm almost certain they do not. But um, you know, there's the there's the faux stamp on there. Let's let's check the the grind on here. It actually looks really good. 
check this side yeah I mean just a little bit dirty I mean they did put um, some oil on here so um, you know coming over probably on a boat from China you don't want it to get uh, rusty from the seawater but um, man I don't know guys this this looks pretty cool so you do have the reversible pocket clip option there and um, yeah so for lefties like me that is a nice feature man I just can't get over the action I mean usually on a brand new bench made they don't flip like this right out of the box you gotta you gotta play with them for a little bit to get them to to have that smooth of an action but man this one right out the gate <laughs> it's nice and it man it's so light and I do love the short pocket clip on there so uh, and man look at those colors sweet so uh, you know we gotta we gotta cut something with it you gotta make sure this thing actually functions like a knife should so we got the bud K paper and we're gonna just do a cut test on it let's see see how she functions oh man yes 20 bucks guys 20 well 30 with shipping 31 bucks but uh, man that's that is super sharp very nice well there I screw it up but very nice edge on there I mean that's cutting cutting like a hot knife through butter man that's slick man that's slick yeah jeez so uh, I guess uh, what are my uh, what are my thoughts on this man I for the price I mean if you're willing to wait for upwards of two months to get this thing in your possession and you don't mind carrying around a toupee of a knife a fake <laughs> um, a clone if you will uh, then this this is actually a very decent knife I mean man I just can't get over how lightweight it is I mean it, it feels like the same weight as a 535 I mean what are those like 1.8 ounces um, this feels like that for sure and I mean the action on there is just incredible love it so uh, what do I think I, I think this is a good knife actually guys I think this is this is really nice so uh, will that edge hold up who knows I mean this could be a cheap 420 a <laughs> you know who knows it could be a very soft steel or it could be um, you know it could be something totally decent we don't know because when uh, when it's a when it's not authentic, I don't trust that stamp right there at all. So I guess we'll, time will tell. I'll carry this for a while, and I'll I'll give an update later, and we'll we'll see how she handles. So, anyways, guys, uh, that's it for today. Wish knife, twenty bucks plus eleven dollars shipping and handling, could be yours. Thanks for watching. See you next time.